<laughs> I have got to see this. Oh my God. Are you ready? And a Senator John Kennedy. You know, Senator Kennedy, this is a big deal that one of your Democratic colleagues, Senator Warner, is having this meeting. When Biden was asked about this, he said, oh, that's just one senator. But it sounds like a lot of senators have concerns. And I'm wondering, you work with these senators every day. Do you think their concerns were assuaged tonight? Um, I'm not sure, Kaylee, that... Uh Interviews like the president gave tonight matter much at this juncture. Hmm. Uh, you can't make this cat walk backwards. <laughs> People saw what they saw in the 90-minute debate. Uh, and I think most of them think... Yo, he sounds down home in real matter of fact. I've met people like this before. It's like, boys, now I told y'all not to go over there, didn't I? And what happened? Jerome came back with a broken neck and you broke your face. Now sit down somewhere. I've met, I've met people like this before. They give it to you straight. He's <laughs> y'all see the title. I'm waiting for it now. I like him. Who's this? John Senator John Kennedy. I'm going, we'll get more interviews with him that it's only a matter of time before President Biden stumbles again because they understand that old age doesn't get better, it gets worse. Mm. Fairly or unfairly, I think most Americans have made up their minds. I think- And that's true. That's true. I mean, you, whoo, it's, you know, it just, it just, the way that performance, you know, I think I gave him more, more leeway than most people did. The way people were talking about him the next day, I was like, wow, they, they have even less faith than I do in him recovering. Like they're like, oh no, oh no, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, y'all riding the bench. Hey, wake up. We about one of y'all about to get in the game. Okay? Wake up. All right. Like the people was ready to replace him immediately. I think they have concluded that President Biden is old, that he is likely suffering from some form of neurodegenerative disease, that mm, he's suffered from it for a while. And at the White House and many members of the... By the way, um, when I was watching Young Turks, I, I don't know the guy's name on there, but he was saying, like, you know, he's talking about Biden messing up. But all, at the same time, he was saying... he And he said it several times. And I'm like, is he exaggerating? Because, you know, it's funny because somebody in my comments was like, you know, Trump doesn't lie as much as he exaggerates stuff. And um, he kept saying that he kept saying maniacal things. And the whole time I was watching, like, I wasn't sitting there thinking this guy is a maniac. You know, like, it makes me <laughs> the last time I heard the word maniacal, I was watching an interview with Hulk Hogan and he was talking about the ultimate warrior. And he said he was a good guy with a maniacal edge. You got what I'm saying? You know, because all the, the, oh, my I'm ultimate warrior, and you know, all that crazy stuff. When I reach up into the heavens and the warriors speak to me, ah, like that's maniacal. I'm trying to figure out what maniacal stuff did Trump say? I feel like that's an exaggeration. I'm open to someone saying, okay, when he said this, this is literally maniacal, like, because Maniac is insanity. Like, I'm wondering, what did he say that was so insane? <laughs> Media industrial complex have covered it up. Mm. And that cover-up has been toxic. Wow, he and said they covered it up. For what it's worth. 
how, how, what did I tell y'all? This dude's a straight shooter. I like him. Politically. He ain't scared to say nothing. Uh, I think President Biden. He don't even seem like he's dancing around nothing. Is as dead as fried chicken. <laughs> he, can he, he can be replaced. <laughs> well, she almost want to laugh. Or he can run and lose. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You can't. My thought. Or he can run and lose. You can't successfully run for president of the United States when your campaign slogan is, I'm only senile some of the time. <laughs> today. Yeah, that's right. You know, the thought that didn't go back. as I'm listening to you speak. But for a while, and at the White House, I was House, trying to see it again. Many members <laughs> of the media industrial complex have covered it up. Mm, and that mm, cover mm. up has been toxic. In my opinion, yeah, for it what has. it's worth, po politically, uh, I think President Biden politically is as dead as fried chicken. He can uh, quit. <laughs> Yo, she wants to laugh. <laughs> or he can run and lose. You can't Ooh. successfully run for president of the United States when your campaign slogan is, I'm only senile some of the time. Yo, I love this dude. Commentator this dude. Today. This dude might be as funny as Trump. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah, that's right. You know, the thought that comes to mind as I'm listening to you speak is what are his advisors telling him? Because there was this moment where George Stephanopoulos said, you have a 36% approval rating, Mr. President. And he looked at Man, I couldn't do her job. Man, I don't know. Maybe I could. Maybe people would like the fact that I'm matter of fact and I'd be laughing so hard at some of this stuff. Uh, there's no way I could do her job. You know how many times I would be laughing? Him with bewilderment saying, no, I, I don't. And yet this comes the same day that 538 put out the average approval rating of the president, hit its lowest point of his presidency right at 36%. So are people just telling him what he wants to hear? Well, look, um, you, you, you shouldn't look to Washington, D.C. for wisdom or comfort at this difficult time. As you know, <laughs> most people in Washington, D.C., will uh, they'll, they'll unplug your life support in order to charge their cell phone. Uh, most people in Washington, D.C. right now are worried about how... The I love this dude! <laughs> the president's problems are going to impact them personally. I'm more interested. Man, in I'm going to find all the Senator John Kennedy uh, interviews I can find after this. I'm binge watching. This is Senator John Kerry day for me. I'm binge watching all of his interviews after this. <laughs> what the American people think. And Why didn't y'all tell me this dude was just funny? And I don't take any joy in having to say all of this. This is a difficult time. <laughs> um, but let me say it again. People saw what they saw in that 90-minute debate. Mm -hmm. And um, they're very concerned. Mm -hmm. They are very concerned. I do want to play a little bit more, Senator Kenny Kennedy. Uh, this was another just, I mean, disconnect from reality that we heard about what happened at the debate and what President Trump did. Let's listen. And, and how, how quickly did it, did it come to you that you were having that bad night? Well, it came to me as having a bad night when I realized that even when I was answering a question, even when I turned his mic off, he was still shouting. And I, I let it distract me. I, I'm not blaming on that. But I realized that I just wasn't in control. I watched the whole debate. I never saw President Trump yeah. shouting in yeah. a microphone that wouldn't say, let I him shout. That. I mean, you, we would hear it shouting in <clears throat> Biden's microphone. That just didn't happen. Well, look, actually, as we all know, the microphones were cut off when it wasn't the speaker's the turn. turn. Yeah. And, and I don't really understand what President Biden was referring to. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I do think that the White House is doing their president, our president, a disservice tonight. Mm. The, People are calling it senior abuse. No, elder abuse. People keep calling it elder abuse. The White House says that, well, uh, all they're like kept. Do you think it's elder abuse? Kevin Bacon at the end of Animal House. All is well. Don't panic. Uh, we've been transparent the entire time. You know, I've never seen Animal House. Never. I'm going to have to watch it one of these days. <laughs> uh, this White House, they would know transparency if it jumped up and yodeled and bit them in the butt. See? There has been a cover-up. I love this day. And many members of the media have participated in it. Him and Trump are running neck and neck for my favorite politicians to watch and listen to now. Neck and neck. And now some members of the media, they, 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 they're running around going, we're dumbfounded. We never saw any sign of this. <laughs> um, I mean, and they're asking, is the president, uh, can he stand for re-election? His own Justice Department a few months ago said that he's not even competent to stand trial. Mm. What? I didn't know that. Somebody, I was watching somebody the other day, they was like, Joe Biden gnaw his own arm off before he would drop out of the race. Um, what parachute did yeah. these, what, what planet did these people parachute in from? <laughs> people may be poorer under President Biden, but they're not stupid. <laughs> their, their concerns and suspicions have been confirmed. Oh, man, I can't wait to use some of this stuff. Talking to somebody, say something crazy. What planet did you parachute in from? Talking like this. As a matter of fact, what planet did all the Disney execs parachute in from making these Star Wars and, and Marvel movies? What are y'all smoking? They happen, and I'll never forget it was the Vice President Kamala Harris in the wake of that her report you referenced, who came in and vouched for the mental acuity of President Biden. Senator Kennedy, always such a way with words and so vivid in your language. Thank you very much. Senator Kennedy. Hey, Sean Hannity here. My hey, man. Click here to subscribe. <laughs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Do you agree with him? Do you not agree? Put everything in the comments section. You know I read the comments. Let's get it. 10 million subscribers. Woo!